convicted. Why does your uh, your leaders called no Adam your leaders no called answer. Adam Walker? Uh, why is he not doing this interview? Indeed, well, Adam, why hasn't why hasn't he done any interviews during this campaign? Well, Adam's busy in his constituency in, in Rotherham. That's the place that's become the racially motivated child rape capital of Western Europe. So, thanks to the BBC, the Labour Party in Yorkshire, please. He's trying so to. So he's got clear no the time to be interviewed on national television. He's, he's, he's doing his job in Rotherham and he's going to get a decent vote there. I mean, that's, that's, he doesn't want to be kind of vilified uh, by, by yourself with, with trivia. He's trying to sweep up the mess that's He's invisible. Created. He's the invisible leader of this campaign. No one's ever heard of him well, and no one's why, ever seen him. Why didn't him. you invite him to the leaders' debate then in that case? Where was the invite? Did he get Listen, lost in the post? Uh, it's based on past and present performance in the polls. Oh, very and convenient. Since, very convenient. Uh, 600,000 votes we got. And since your performance is dire, you weren't um, Was it dire in 2010, Andrew? Well, it's based on that. Yeah. It's yeah. Well, we got, on we, that. we got a huge vote in 2010, a huge vote in 2009. We've is been it? completely... Even if we'd have put 600 candidates and spent a million pounds on this election, you'd have found some excuse, you at the BBC, to completely... Oh erase us from the debate, well, to completely you, you, close the narrative on what we've got to say. You may be interested to know that uh, I'm not the one that takes these decisions. I mean, even I wasn't invited, so I wouldn't feel too left out uh, on that. Let me ask you this.